Kia ora guys and welcome back to the Black Jersey. My name's Max and I'm the host over here at this channel. What a game between England and South Africa. It looks like England were going to defy the odds after being totally ridden off by pretty much everyone, including me before this World Cup, and make it to the final. South Africa's scrum though, save them the end. I also just want to say a massive thank you to my patrons before I kind of discuss my full-time hot takes from the game because that was just absolutely insane, that match. South Africa have done it again. They got bullied up front of the breakdown. They got bullied in the scrum during the first half. Their lineout was constantly having the ball stolen. Absolutely crazy, man. England were doing so well for most of that game, but they just delivered an absolute choke job. Freddie Stewart, amazing under the high ball. Owen Farrell, amazing game management. Courtney Laws running the most meters of the team despite having the number six on his back. Wow. Absolutely crazy. But the way South Africa dealt with the pressure, are they going to be able to do the same against the All Blacks? This was a World Cup final, twice in a row. That game against France, that could have been a World Cup final for all we care. This game against England, that could have been a World Cup final for all we care. And now here we are, and they've done it again. The fact that South Africa can deal with this pressure so well just goes to show how much experience can help you during a test match. It just shows uh, what happens when you just trust yourselves, you back yourself, and they did the right thing to take the three. Unlike France last week, they didn't have enough of a margin to take back, whereas this time South Africa realized, look, if we take the three, it's going to be a one-point margin. Let's get this whole thing over and done with. England in the first half, man. Crazy. I've never seen anyone other than the French and the Irish <laughs> just beat South Africa at their own game like that. After South Africa have been beaten at their own game twice in a row before managing to scrape their way back in at the end, this sets up the final quite nicely because the All Blacks, Argentina weren't exactly the most physical team. They essentially gave the All Blacks a full week off actual intense proper games because Argentina man they were just showing symptoms of being a team who got an easy ride to the semi-finals thanks to not really having the best draw out of anyone over there but you know what this just seems like it's been destiny the All Blacks won 2011-2015 South Africa won 2007 and 2019 so perhaps you know the continued dominance of New Zealand and South Africa over rugby has been building up to a final just rematch of 1995 right before the game turned professional when South Africa first won a rugby world cup maybe everything happens for a reason and this is I guess the ultimate proof of the rivalry between these two countries England tried their very hardest but they just simply couldn't get there because they just didn't have the mental strength to do it. They'd lost to Fiji, they'd been humiliated by France and the Six Nations, while they fought their way back to um, get to the semi-final, they simply hadn't developed this raw instinct of winning, and with the rain being so crazy, there were lots of knock-ons for both teams, but England, because they don't have that winning mentality, they are the ones to knock it on the end when it counts. That's, I guess, the psychological side of the game that I'm not an expert in. That's how these kind of things happen. South Africa, on the other hand, they kept getting beaten down. They kept losing opportunities. They hooked their number 10 off just 31 minutes into the game. Money Leboc came off after 31 minutes because he just wasn't performing very well at all. But South Africa were like, you know what? He's not performing. It's okay. He'll be all right for next week. It's all good. We trust him to improve for next week. South Africa had faith in Lebok to get all that stuff done, and they had faith in Pollard to close the game out. Lebok luckily did kick both of his goals while he was still on the field, while Pollard, man, unbelievable story. He needs to write us in a book. Just coming back from, you know, injury to be in the World Cup semi finals, kicking his team to victory to set them up for a final against the All Blacks. But the thing is with the All Blacks just getting so much better up front recently, with South Africa taking 18 minutes to score a try against them in Twickenham, this really does once again, I come back to the statement, it sets up the final very nicely. Everyone's been crying for an All Black South Africa repeat of 1995 for so, so, so long, and we finally get it. And you know what, with South Africa having to face England, having to face France back to back, they're going to be exhausted, and I truly believe that, well, this could be the All Blacks' chance at last to win the World Cup. I didn't think we were going to be able to win. I didn't accept this is going to be a reality, and it's here. 
World Cup final time, here we come. And man, crazy stuff. That's a hot take. The All Blacks are probably favourites to win now. Another hot take is that, wow, South Africa need to keep Khaleesi on. I know Dion Forey was all good. I know that, of course, Quokka Smith was all good, but they definitely didn't look as calm up until that last few minutes when, you know, the scrum was bailing them out against England after they were punishing England for a few mistakes. You know, why did Freddie Stewart not go long, man? Who knows, we'll never know, but England, simply put, could not repeat 2019 when they shocked the world and beat the favourites to get through to the World Cup final. I would have liked to have played England because they'd been an easier team for us to face, but oh well, congratulations South Africa, we'll meet you in the final, and boy this is going to be interesting stuff. Make sure to subscribe to me, like this video, and comment your thoughts down below if you enjoyed the game and you enjoyed this video, and this is just absolutely crazy. I will see you guys for my next video, which is analysis about the All Blacks beating Argentina. Oh goodness me, this is getting spicy, it's the end of the World Cup, two matches to go, wow, see you next time guys from Max.